In this video, I'm going to provide a short introduction to the Windows Registry and to the Registry Editor, one of the tools, well, the, the main tool that Windows provides to, uh, uh, to check and modify the registry. Um, this is going to be a pretty brief introduction. I'm planning on writing another tutorial and a more in-depth forensics look at the registry and what it can be used for, but basically here I'm just going to introduce the registry and what it is. Um, so first off, the Windows Registry is the place in Windows, it's a database where Windows stores basically everything. Uh, configuration settings for different software, applications, um, user profiles, so say, you know, the desktop, my desktop background or anything like that, uh, operating system settings, hardware configurations, anything like that. If you need to find it, it's in the registry. Um, so you'll be able to find things in the registry, including the list of startup programs, um, desktop backgrounds, some program information, um, and then some cool things like recently used programs, um, recently plugged in or sometimes all plugged in USB devices, anything like that. So it really has a lot of uses and, it, and it's really a good place to look for forensics information because everything is kind of stored there. So the first thing we're going to do is show you the registry editor, which is Windows' tool to see the registry and to modify it. Um, so from a command line, we can open the registry editor by typing regedit. Um, and then Windows say yes. And then you'll see that registry editor opens up here. Actually, I may have cheated and had it open in the background here, but uh, either way, it's open. You can see that we have basically just, you know, standard little window over here. Uh, what you'll have, first of all, is these five. These are called the root keys. You have in um, the registry editor, you're going to have keys and values. Um, and obviously, the key is um, the information name, basically. And the value or values is the set of information about that key. And you'll see a little more how that makes sense, but you know the key names the information and the value is going to be the information itself. So what you'll have is a whole bunch of root keys, um, and then each root key under it will have you know sub keys, um, and then sub keys themselves can have more sub keys. Um, some sub keys, you know, they can actually have keys and values. Um, so a key can have at the same time it can either have sub keys or values or sub keys and values. You can have basically whatever it wants, and each key can have multiple values as well. So for an example here, one thing you can find, pretty a simple example here, I'm just going to show you temporarily, well before I do that, let me just explain to you what each of these root keys are. Um, so just the five root keys that you'll see here, each hold different sets of information. Um, the H key class is root, H key stands for handle to a key, um, and this, the root one here, that is for file and application association, so just like, you know, how to PDF, what application that, that uses and stuff like that. Um, users is all the user profiles for people that generally use this machine. Uh, current user will sort of be a subset of that. It'll be the profile for me because I'm the current user of this machine. Um, local machine is going to be your hardware and software configurations for the machine itself, so not user specific. And then current config is going to be your hardware, um, your current hardware configuration. So it's again a subset of local machine. And then within these, as you saw before, there's a whole bunch of sub keys. So for an example here, we're going to look up the key time zone, um, the time zone information on this machine, and that will tell us, you know, what time zone we're in, and just so the computer knows if it ever needs a time zone, um, where to find it. So this key, and I'll show you in a minute how you see the path to it, um, but it's going to be stored in the local machine root key, if we can get that open. And then, I opened it before, it's in system, and it'll be in the current control stick, that's what we're currently using. It'll be in the control sub key down here. And if you scroll all the way down here, and I know this is kind of the needle in a haystack here, but you'll find time zone information. And you can see all these values. You see that um, this sub key or this key here has a whole bunch of values associated with it, one of them which shows that I'm in the Eastern time zone, um, Eastern Standard Time EST. So now, obviously, normally you wouldn't be able to just decide, hey, I'm going to look up this key and know exactly where it's located. So one thing you can use, and there's different ways to find these, you know, you can Google it, but if you know there's a key somewhere, you can look it up and find its path. The path there is local machine system, current control set, control, time zone information. You can see the path kind of looks like the general um, file and directories path on Windows. Obviously, it's a little different here because we're talking about registry values, but it's the same concept. Um, registry editor actually gives you another um, means of finding a key. So if we get back out of this, and hopefully this will work without finding too much weird stuff, uh, we can actually find, and say we can search, so say we know that there's a key called time zone information. We can look for it. It's maybe cheating a little bit here, because uh, it's already open, but if we search for it, 
we will not find it because I guess we're already open. Um, let's get out of this for a minute. And hopefully this will find it. Um, because if not, then this whole video is kind of messed up. Uh, but since the registry is kind of big, it will take a while. And we're now just going to sit here and wait. Because this is pretty much the end of the tutorial. I was going to just tell you this. And then um, the other things I was going to say was that if you look at the presentation slides or the sample challenges, you can find a whole bunch more um, sort of cool things that I've found in the registry and sort of told you to look for. And you can see it did find it. Here's time zone information. So if you know the name of your key, you can find it as well. Um, but if you look at the sample challenges, you can find things like your computer name, um, startup programs, even the USB devices that have ever been, all the USB devices that have ever been plugged into your computer, anything like that. Um, I've given you the path to them in the sample challenges so you can find them on your own. And that's pretty much it. So basically the registry is a database containing all sorts of important information for Windows. And it can be used to find really anything. So you see we found time zone information, you can find USB drives that were plugged in, you can find recently used Word documents. Um, so it's a great place to look for forensics investigations. And in a future tutorial we're going to go a little bit more in depth on how to use some of the forensics tools to actually go through the registry. Um, but that's about it for now. So the registry's got keys and values and this is how you find stuff in it in registry editor. Um, so that's it. Hope this was helpful and hope you enjoyed listening.